everyone, I'm Jess. Welcome back to my channel and this video, my Reese spring haul and try on. If you already follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I've been shopping the Reese sale and found some really, really beautiful pieces with some huge discounts. So definitely worth a little treat. Now I'll start by saying I'm not usually a fan of the sales, not because I don't want to get a bargain because everybody loves a bargain. I just, in the store, find it all too manic and everybody's diving on top of each other and it's claustrophobic and and generally it just makes me feel dizzy. But from the comfort of my own home, I'm all in. Now along with showing you everything I bought in the sale, I'm also gonna pop up some images of other items I would recommend that are equally on sale and got some huge discounts. So let me get started and show you the first piece I bought. As you can see, I got myself one beautiful autumn winter coat. Now it is actually a really good time to invest in some gorgeous outerwear, not just from Reese, from lots of the different stores because generally they will be on sale throughout spring summer. So you can pick up some really good bargains. This beautiful winter coat, for example, was 295 pounds and I got it for 140 pounds, so a really big saving. So this coat has been made from a blend of wool, which might explain why I look so very red and shiny today. It's boiling outside and I've got a winter coat on. It's definitely not the season to be wearing one, but it is the season to be buying one. Now, although it's made from wool, it's done in a really lightweight fabric, really nicely so, so it's got that beautiful drape as it goes down towards the hem. I really like the collar and the lapel here, and because of the nature of that fabric, you could wear it up like this which I quite like or equally have it sitting down like this as well I've gone for it in my usual size which is a UK 10 and I would say the fit is perfect well perfect for autumn winter because although it's obviously got a bit of room in there I really hate it when I've got a beautiful winter coat and I can't even stick a jumper underneath but equally I think with an outfit like this just with a pretty camisole top underneath it doesn't look too oversized it still works the other thing of course with this coat is that I've gone for the cream version I don't actually have a really nice cream winter coat in my capsule wardrobe, so it was definitely a gap that needed filling. I know it's not the most practical color in the world to have as a winter coat, but there's just something about cream or white outerwear throughout autumn winter that just instantly looks chic and elegant without even really having to try. So next I went for this gorgeous camisole top in this beautiful sort of metallic feel fabric. Tell me if I've got this completely wrong, but that is really gold, isn't it? I can't see that that's silver at all. By the way, I actually really like this camisole top and I do tend to wear them an awful lot, probably on a day-to-day -day basis, really mixing and matching with sort of casual clothes, but then dressing them up a bit for nighttime. So it's a good buy for me, especially when it's in the sale. So I believe this one is 50 pounds, which I think made it at half price at the moment. Now it also comes available in what I would call silver or a charcoal tone. That's really nice if you'd prefer a darker color. And then they had a sort of berry tone, which was really pretty actually. Quite bright for me, but actually a really nice shade of berry. So quite a, an elegant, classy one. Now size-wise again, I went for a UK 10 and this kind of baggy look that's coming over the top of my jeans is how I really like to wear camisoles. If you prefer it to look a little bit tighter then I would say size down because this is the type of fit going true to size. So not only does the fabric look metallic, but it's also got that feel to it as well. So a slight lurex type of feel. And if I just take this out here, you can see that the hem tapers in so that you could either wear it out and then just do a bit of an up and over, but I quite like tucking it in. I really like the mixture of fabrics together and obviously sort of linking in the two gold elements or silver if I'm colorblind, but I think it really works well together. So then I found this beautiful long dress in the sale on Reese's website. Now, if you saw over on my Instagram account, this is the item that I showed everybody and said, what do you think? Should I keep it or should I send it back? I would say the majority equally absolutely love this dress like I do, but there were some interesting criticisms of it that um, I wasn't offended at all by. It's quite helpful to hear everyone's different opinion, but I just wanted to read a couple of them to you now and see what you all think and if you agree or if like me, you think this is a beautiful dress. 
So one lovely follower said, it's a little bit witchy for me, which made me laugh because I can kind of see her point. I know what she's saying, but is that just because it's one big lot of black fabric, especially with long sleeves as well? Possibly. A lovely follower called Shelly said, hey Jess, I actually saw this dress when I was ordering and not joking thought, oh my God, surprise Jess hasn't bought that yet. <laughs> Made for you, seriously chic. Which makes me laugh because she's obviously completely sussed out my style from my videos. Another follower said, you would look good in anything which is very kind of her to say but not sure about this it's the gap that makes it look odd I know that's the style but it looks like a short dress trying to be a long one and then this lady and I didn't take this one personally I think part of it is lost in translation I just don't like the dress it's not fresh at all it's an aging sad black dress love your style otherwise which is fine it's just not her cup of tea I get that we all have different opinions so I'd be really interested to hear yours on this one so though I understand some of those criticisms I I personally think this is a beautiful dress and I'll tell you for why. One, I think the fabric is stunning. It's got lace panels running through it in sort of divided sections. Like that lady said, it's kind of halfway down which she's not really sure if it's a dress or a skirt. I actually think the joy is in that because it's like a, a surprise element. It's a little bit different, not something you'd see everywhere. And then dotted all over the fabric is some beautiful embroidery, which I think just adds to it and makes it feel really luxe. Now though I'm a little bit hot today, I like the fact that it's got long sleeves and I know lots of you don't like showing your upper arms, so perhaps that might be a positive for you as well. Definitely the sort of dress I could wear in summer, on holiday, in the evening when we're going out for dinner, but obviously with having sleeves it gives you the option to wear it through the autumn and winter as well. This is actually the first time I've tried this top on and worryingly, I didn't expect to like it as much as I do. I was hoping to be able to send something back so I didn't feel quite so guilty, but I'm not doing very well at that so far. Just instantly looking at it, I think it's very pretty and very elegant and very versatile. I could see myself wearing it at night or at work or even dressing it down in the daytime. So it's like a chiffon fabric over the lining and I don't think it's too see-through. I've got a strapless bra under there and I think that works fine. I like when tops do this shape and it's wide enough to hide a little bit of a bulge that I might have going on there. And although the fabric is quite full and voluminous, I think it really works. Obviously I've tucked it into my trousers and I think it would look too much if I left it out. But you can even kind of play with how much you tuck in. So I probably would tuck in a little bit more on the hip section so it didn't feel like it was going too wide there. Like the camisole top, I believe it's 55 pounds in the sale. And just taking a look at my wardrobe, I know I'm gonna get lots of use out of it with the other pieces I've got. I am just way too hot so I'll put my hair up out of the way. Sorry, it looks a bit scruffy. So that is everything that I purchased in the resale but if money were no object, there is an awful lot I would also buy. So I've saved everything on my phone and I thought I'd just quickly run through all the best pieces I found from their sale because you might like them too. So I started on coats and first up found this one called the Baxter. Now this is a wool blend utility jacket done in a lovely shade of camel and I just thought it was a bit different. I really like the utility trend. I haven't seen it done in quite such a structured and probably more luxe fashion like this one. And it's down from 285 pounds to 135 pounds with at the moment the majority of sizes left as well. Going back to tops now and in a similar fabric as the one I'm wearing is a long sleeve version without the bow. So again, this one's been made from 100% viscose and I really like the fact that they've kept those sleeve portions semi-sheer but obviously giving you some lining over the front and the back. As I know with this top that I've got on, the very nature of this fabric makes it drape really beautifully so I'd imagine this one will do exactly the same thing. So I suppose it's just personal preference really whether you prefer to have a sleeve or not. Then I found one gorgeous bodysuit and I would love love to purchase this myself. However, I know that I'm quite long in the body and bodysuits just end up being so uncomfortable for me. However, saying that, I think this one in particular is gorgeous and I think it would look amazing with like a really lovely pair of tailored black trousers. So a bit like the camisole top, it looks like it's got a bit of a lurex feel to the fabric. You've got that really deep plunging neckline, but I think it's balanced out really nicely by having long sleeves with it. I think you could pair it with a pencil skirt or a beautiful smart pair of trousers. 
I think that would look really, really gorgeous. Next up, a very pretty summer dress, but one I think that would probably be very versatile. So it's a wrap front style at the top with wide shoulder straps, and then you've got those knife pleats to the skirt portion. And then it's coming up as a midi length dress, which is probably the most wearable. I just really like the color of that and the simplicity to it. I think it's really beautiful. Now, when I purchased the long black dress that I found, I very, very nearly bought this one as well. So it's been made from a knitted fabric, and knowing the Reese collection like I do, I'd say that's probably a really beautiful knitted fabric. I really like the chest portion of this dress and the way it skims just over your shoulders. And I think the length to those sleeves is really flattering too. And then obviously it's really nipping her in at the waist and flowing out into that beautiful midi length. It's very, very simple. There's not a lot of detail to it. And that's why I think it would be a really statement dress. So looking at knitwear, there's obviously lots of jumpers in the sale, but I actually found one that I thought would be really nice for spring summer. And I think this one is just a little bit different. You've obviously got that open knit design, which I think is really interesting, but then combined with the crew neck and this long sleeves and that really sort of relaxed, casual kind of fit. I actually think that's gorgeous and I kind of wish I'd bought it myself now because I think styled in a certain way, it would actually surprisingly elevate an outfit. So I actually have a really similar version of this next jumper. So this one, like mine, is in a beautiful light blue tone. It's obviously knitted and you've got that lovely funnel neck, which I really like in winter, keeps me nice and toasty. And it's made from 43% viscose, 30% wool, bit of alpaca and a bit of elastin. So pretty much the same composition to the one I've had previously that lasted really, really well. Skirt wise, I found this beautiful satin version. I really like the hem to that. I think that's really different. Obviously you've got the mid length, which I find more versatile. A-line silhouette, cut on the bias, so you know that's gonna skim really nicely over your hips. But you have also got a zip fastening, which I think just adds to it. Now I've actually got about another 10 or so pieces there that I'd picked out from their sales, but I'm conscious I have talked for an awful long time. So I'll stop now, but I will link everything in the description box below. I do hope you like this video and I would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Let me know which was your favorite piece from the items I actually bought, or maybe you've got a favorite piece from the other items I found. It's always really good to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, I would be very grateful for your support. On Sunday, I have got one beautiful new haul to share with you. So I'm very excited to see what you all think to that. Have a wonderful week and hopefully I shall see you then. Take care.